This is going to be my shave review of the Shea Moisture Shave, their shave butter cream. So I picked this up at Target the other day. I decided to stop by their uh, shaving department just to kind of see what they had around like a major national retailer for shaving. Lots of canned foams and gels, cartridge razors, the whole deal that we're used to seeing there. But then this caught my eye and I picked it up. So this was, uh, this was $6 and it's a six ounce tub. I'll show you that in a little bit. But the ingredient list is really nice. So it starts off with Af African black soap, then goes to water, shea butter, and a bunch of natural, natural ingredients including coconut oil, palm oil, vitamin E, pomegranate seed oil, um, comfrey root extract, black seed oil, juniper oil, lots of really great uh, ingredients in here with not many artificial ingredients. Um, so I was really happy with that so I decided to pick this up and give it a try. So if you watch my lather review, you'll see that I was not able to get this to lather. I don't think that this is a cream that lathers. I think you just apply it directly to your face, even though on the package here it does say uh, you can use a shaving brush. Um, I haven't used, since switching over to shaving with a safety and straight razor, I haven't used any products that don't create a lather, so I'm definitely interested to give this a try. And I don't care, you know, as long as it gives a good shave, I'm not really attached to uh, making a lather, as long as it shaves well. So decided to give this a shot and it was a very very slick uh, lather review when I supply it to my hands so let's take a look what we got in here comes in a box you get this nice plastic amber colored tub really nice opened up and this is made in the US so that's also cool that's kind of this cream in here really nice scent to it I don't know it's a kind of a you know a combination of a lot of different scents Smells like a nice like spa product, something like that. So anyway, I decided that this was a good day to give this a try since I only have two days of facial hair growth right now. I didn't want to give this a challenge of going through a couple days at once. So I just got out of the shower, washed out my facial hair so it's nice and clean and hydrated. Just gonna apply a little more water to my face. And I am just going to apply some. So this is kind of like a thicker cream. You can see I can like leave my a finger dent in there. I'm just gonna grab some. I don't really know how much to use. Start applying. Just applying just like a lotion. It is a very dense lotion feel. Slick for sure. Um, I wasn't gonna. I am gonna spend some time rubbing it in with my fingers really get between all the hairs nice and in there. So one downside to this that I've noticed is that I've already gone through two or three times the amount that I would have used if this was a sh true shaving cream and made a true lather. I just would have got dollop. That same dollop size, I've gone through two or three of those easily already applying this to my face. And now for my second pass, I know I'm going to have to reapply more. So this is not going to last as long. The true lathering soap. All right, I think that's a good amount of time. I think that's reasonable to give this the best chance possible of performing well. So I've got my Merker 34C here with a fresh Persona blade that's nice and evenly loaded into my blade. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to start over here at my sideburn. Alright, it's actually doing an alright job, but I can tell that that slickness is just not there. Without having a lather, it just, it's just not as slick. It just, I don't know why, it's just, it's not slick. Interesting, because this is a, uh, a thick cream. I just happened to see it there. The cream isn't really coming out of my brush as well. There's some stuck in there. So if you're using this, just make sure you get all out on there because it was jammed up in there, which won't give as good of a shave. I'm going really, really lightly through these areas. There are trouble areas. Very light, light press pressure. And I'm really cleaning out my brush because those hairs and cream just don't want to come out of there. First pass, not bad. Um, a little bit of tugging, 
uh, it's just not slick. I don't know, getting the lather in there when you really like work the uh, air into there and get really small bubbles, it just kind of makes a dense, creamy, luxurious lather that makes a really smooth shave. And I'm just, without making a lather, soap, it's not slick, I'm just not getting close. Sorry, here. I'm just feeling uh, how I did that first pass. Really, I do expect a closer pass, honestly. This was not that close of a pass. I've got a lot of hair left behind that I feel like I can normally easily get with other shaving soaps. Um, deciding whether or not I'm going to continue to shave with this. Since this is, next one is even a closer pass because I'm going cross grain, I think I am going to opt out of using this right now for that second pass. I just don't want to get irritated, honestly. That's a big concern for me. I just don't enjoy that. So I'm going to get out a different shaving soap to finish up this shave. And then I'll just fast forward through all this for you guys. And I'll check in at the end to give you some final remarks about this shaving cream. So that was my full, well, sorry, half shave review with the uh, Shea Moisture Shave Shave Butter Cream. So first of all, the good things. This is a, it's a nicely uh, packaged product, good ingredient list, a lot of organic ingredients on there, which I really like, and it's $6 for a six ounce tub. Uh, I think those are all good things. I did not get a good shave with that. Um, it didn't make a lather. At the beginning of the video, I said, you know, I don't care if it makes a lather as long as it shaves well. And now being able to compare it, because I stopped halfway through using this, I went to a soap that lathers. I think a lather is actually a very big deal. Um, so I think that this is kind of a, uh, this is a no-go for me. It's just, you know, you got to get a lather and the slickness isn't there. I just don't, you know, it's just not worth it, honestly, if it's not going to give a nice close shave. When I started using the soap that lathers, immediately the slickness is there. And, and I think part of what makes shaving so good with a safety and a straight razor is actually the quality of the soaps and creams that we are using. The very slick, luxurious lathers that really make the blade just slide across your skin very easily to help decrease irritation. That was a very irritating first pass for me. Um, looking back, it wasn't close. It really like it's even hard once I put on the the uh, the lather again, the real lather for the second pass. It was really hard going back because my facial hair was cut really weird. It was really uh, there are patches that weren't cut well, and it was just really hard. Definitely irritated my neck, and I didn't get a good shave down here because it, it just got really irritated from that first pass. So, you know, I, I will not be using this soap again. And I just hope that people aren't using this as their first shave cream because, you know, it looks like a premium product. You see it packaged there on the shelf, which I thought it was. Looked at the ingredient list, good ingredient list, says use a shaving brush. And if people are using this as their first shaving cream with a shaving brush, I think that they're pretty bound to be disappointed. So I hope that that's not the case out there. If any of you have used this, please let me know. If you've used this successfully, please let me know. Um, if you can lather this, let me know. I don't think that this is latherable at all. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Um, I will not be using this soap again. I will uh, send it elsewhere. Um, I might just be throwing it out. I don't want to necessarily give this to anybody. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any comments, questions, tips, anything like that, and more videos to come.